All right, my friends, today we're going to take a look at this medium. This is a soft pastel. Now, this is a messy, messy medium. It gets everywhere. But there are some things that we can do to reduce that a little bit. So, first thing to keep in mind is which hand you write with. I am left-handed. Because I'm left-handed, I need to start working on the right side of my paper. And I'm going to work across this way. That way I never have to lay my hand down on top of something that I've already done. If you touch these once they're on the paper, they will smear and they will make your paper look really, really gross and nasty. Opposite, if you are right-handed, you'll start on the left side and work back across. Now we are, there are different ways that we can use this media. This demo is for using this media for impressionism because we're talking about Claude Monet. So. We're not going to color with these. We're not going to color like we would color with a crayon. What we're going to do is work in short strokes. Now, we always start with our darkest color first. Most of the time, that's going to be a black. Now, I'm going to just make lines. Now, with trees, we, all, we want to think and consider which way stuff moves. Which way does it go? Trees go every which way. They're all over the place. So with trees, we can have our short lines go any way we want to. We want to have more lines where we have deeper shadows. So for that, you have to check against the photograph that we're working from. And just fill it with these lines. I notice I still have some white showing. That's okay because when we work in pastels, especially when we work with them this way, we're working in layers. So layer, 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 one thing on top of the other, one thing on top of the other. So after my black, I'm going to go in with a darker green. And I'm going to do the same kind of marks. We'll get a little bit of mix just right over the top of the black, still going every which way. Just filling that up. Again, the impressionists would often leave small amounts of their canvas showing through the paint. So if we have some little tiny spots of white that show through, that's not going to be the end of the world. That's not the most terrible thing that could possibly happen. Impressionism is all about light. It's all about showing how the sunlight hits things. So my next layer up, I go to a lighter color. I'm going to go to this very, very light green. And I'm not going to put any of this over here because that's where I want my darkest shadows to be. That's where the light can't get to. So we're just going to go like that. Again, if we have a little bit of white showing, not the end of the world. Feel that green up. And then my brightest spot, right where the sun's hitting everything, we want to use yellow. Because the sun is yellow. So when we add that on, that gives us a nice, just bright little bit of sun hitting those leaves. And we would work that way. Throughout the, throughout the rest of it. Now, for the sake of saving time, I'm going to speed up the rest of this so that we can see it get done and it doesn't have to use up a massive amount of our time. All right, so here we can see everything finished. Now, in the time lapse, notice, even though I have two trees, I don't jump from one tree to the next tree. I keep working straight across. And if you noticed, the part of my paper where I hadn't put pastels yet was really, really dirty and nasty for me touching it with my hands. So we want to work across. That way we cover that up as we go. Hope this was helpful, guys. Happy arting.